Uh, okay, a good one. D to make things worse, the Not a Spring Chick will be in limited action next week because she's completely lost, thrown her voice out doing the Emmy Week stuff. So you're more or less going to stay we stuck with me again for a while. Here's uh, this one shows you the uh, shows you Obamanomics at work. We have the lowest consumer confidence in the last 30 years, but don't worry, it's rising, and every, all the stock market is jumping on the fact of rising consumer consumer confidence. They already said it's the lowest confidence in 30 years, and therefore it can't be rising. If it is the lowest, it can't be going up. But I guess. In an educational system where you have to use both hands and take off one shoe to count to one, that's probably how it's done. Uh, basically, here we got, you know, a misrepresentation. Audience at Tea Party debate cheers, leaving uninsured to die. Uh, well, uh, basically, what it, that's not exactly what happened. They were Ron Paul supporters, and the Ron Paul supporters don't think you should throw good money after bad. I mean, put it this way. I know people that have been kept on life support for years against their wishes. I've known people that got medical treatment. They just threw millions of dollars at them. They knew they were going to die. And instead of being allowed to die, they threw money at it. And guess what? They died. You know, you can basically, uh, today with medical science, you can keep people alive forever if you really want to do it. But who wants to be in a bed in a coma forever? I mean, well, maybe someday they'll cure the disease. Well, like in 150 years when your body is wasted away and the brain is shriveled into nothing and uh, they discovered a problem with the disease. I mean, go put them in. If you want to do something, go put them in you know, hibernation or something. At least, it's, <clears throat> at least it, they're better off not having to know what's going on around them. Uh, basically, Perry, did, Perry withstands scrutiny for the shade Republican rivals in his debate. Well, they said even though he didn't win the debate, he still survived the debate. And the way it works is, if you can survive, you basically can go to another week. Whereas Michelle Bachman got her zing and zings in, and there are people even on the Republican side are after her for, for comments that she made. So, you know, she made an off-the-cuff response about vaccine. There was a now she's basically trying to say she's not a doctor, she's not this, so, I know. Uh, basically, Republicans did block the Senate disaster aid bill, but now it's been passed because, uh, you know, all they wanted to do was, how are you going to pay for the thing? That's a really big deal. How are you going to pay for it? Well, we're just going to spend another $7 billion, and we'll worry about how it's paid later. Well, no, you talk about, you, you, okay, everyone knows that the FEMA is going to get refunded. And it did get refunded. It got refunded for $100 million less than what was asked for. But um, the problem is, is that nobody wants to tell you how it's going to be paid for anymore. Um, basically, over at Fox News, Ed Henry said people freaked out over normal questions from Fox News. Well, because they all know that any question from Fox News is a question from the conservative right. No, it's not. Rupert Murdoch is basically running like a chicken with his head between his legs. You know, worrying about his head's going to get caught off because he, he's. If you look at the tone, Fox News has got. Okay, I'm going to try to put it this way: whether people really understand it or not, he basically was in the tank for the President of the United States during the last election because he felt that Obama was a pro-business person that could help this nation more than John McCain. So basically, watch carefully. Before the election, reporters that were critical of McCain, were critical of, um, of Obama and pushed up McCain, uh, took extended vacations. I mean, that's why Glenn Beck is no longer there, because Glenn Beck was playing good cop, bad cop, and basically they didn't need a bad cop anymore because they have uh, Rupert Murdoch trying to have a jail cell. So the coverage is basically, you have people on the right at Fox, but there, there, there are more people on the left at Fox. If the President of the United States would come over to Fox, bend over and say, I need someone to scratch my butt, people could be trampled to death in the amount of people that would run the scratches we're in for him. Uh, basically, here's one. Could Obama's jobs bill help in jobless benefits as we now know? It? Well, no. Basically, what he wants to do is to uh, to create government jobs 
for the people that are unemployed to get their jobless benefits. Uh, well, they're not. It, it basically, it's, it's it's the same difference. You're accomplishing nothing because most of the people doing the government jobs wouldn't be qualified to do the jobs in the area they're doing it. So therefore, you're taking the job away from somebody that's qualified for that job. The object is to simply go out there and let the market create jobs so the unemployed can do the jobs that they're qualified to do. Um, here's one. Pat Robertson says all timers makes divorce okay. I mean, is, is Robertson talking from personal experience? You know, because, um, they, you know, uh, that is a stupid thing for a minister to be saying, folks. Uh, senior citizens actually become web sensations, uh, which I thought was sort of funny, you know. Uh, okay. Um, you know, I'm a senior citizen. I don't look like, I mean, I'm, this is the way it works. My eldest, who basically has to have all the new Tinker Toys in the world, at, at McDonald's last Friday, and she hands me the cell phones and the tablets to set the cell phones and tablets up so that she can get on the internet and do word processing. And, and she's a reporter, folks. So, um, so uh, not all senior citizens are lost in a maze. Some of us actually have been around uh, computers for 50 years. Um, basically, uh, we have lost Colorado found in New York after five years. That one I don't understand. How did the cat from Colorado get to New York City? Uh, here's what Michelle Bachman's problem. Professors offer more than $10,000 for proof that uh, Michelle Bachman's story about HVP is true. Well, no, the problem is, is that, okay, it is, everything is true to an extent. There's X amount of people in every single category that will be affected by something. Some people, a little bit of salt is too much. Some people, penis are too much. Some people, uh, chocolate is too much. Some people, milk is too much. But X amount of people will always have a negative effect to everything. You know, that's that's basically how in the world we keep uh, society from being developing, um, uh, you know, uh, a, 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 you know, tolerance to things is the fact that some people have no tolerance whatsoever. Uh, here's one, too. I like this one, though. Um, Nicholas Cage awoken by a man with a fudge sickle, a naked man with a fudge sickle. Well, my question is, how in the world did a naked man get through security? That is the more impressive thing. How did he get through security? That I don't know. Uh, then we got uh, we got more of the, the more of the sign drawings, like in South America. There is one from above, mystifying Nazi lines discovered in the Middle East. Well, yeah. The, the question is, um, I, you know, a lot of this stuff can be explained, but still, since they're only to be seen by the gods, it takes an awful lot of work on the realm. They, they did have they could do things, but you know, they had to, they built they built structures, so they they knew architecture, which means they actually could do the designing on the ground and then hope, like, pray to like heaven that those things don't look like right for the gods. Um, but we got uh, Perry facing new criticism for a Texas vaccine order. Well, the problem was he thought he was doing good to prevent a problem, and the problem is is that he wasn't well enough versed. That's why doctors should do what doctors should do, and politicians should leave the medical advice to the doctors. Uh, it basically, Perry basically, without even thinking, showed why politicians should stay out of the medical business. Um, a drug autistic boy found by surgeons in California. I know, uh, um, I know mistakes do happen in this modern world, but the problem comes is, is that too many mistakes for the children, you know, are happening anymore. I mean, if you got an autistic child, you should make certain. I mean, I had, my home had two stories. I made certain that on my home that the second story had gates at the bottom of the stairs and gates at the top of the stairs. So when the young ones were upstairs with me, they couldn't get over the gate. And when they were downstairs, they couldn't get over the gate to go upstairs. It's that simple, folks. Um, basically, uh, U.S. criminal probe of eBay employees. Well, basically, yeah, because eBay employees have been using, um, you know, sort of making a profit off of things. But then again, who doesn't? Uh, uh, okay, the probe of the Obama administration. Now, the mainstream press smells blood in the water. Well, there's no proof that the President of the United States had any active knowledge in it. Well, other than the fact that he's pushing the whole thing, you know, basically it's the same thing if you say, well, 
you know, I think I'd like to have all this money invested in green energy. You know, I think it would be good if we did green energy. If you keep harping on it, they'll eventually go find something for you, whether it works or not. So, um, I have a money bill of much for the animal kingdom. More often than not, when you're old, you're just forgotten, even though you're still living, breathing, and working.